You've all had some practice with assembling now, and even if you're not quite finished, I've seen some nice progress from all of you, so you have a good understanding of how mate and flush work. So I'm going to go ahead and give you this finished assembly model, and we're going to do a exploded view and a bill of materials based off of this. So we're going to start a new part file. So download this part first if you haven't done so yet. Go up here to New, Presentation, Create View. Now for me, since I have it open right down here, um, that's going to be what pops up for me in my assembly file. If it doesn't for you, you have to click the Search folder to open an existing file. Otherwise, go ahead and click OK. And we're going to start pulling this apart. So we have to click this thing called Tweak Components. And we're going to switch this to Continuous Move. Make sure that is in blue. All right. Now I want to start pulling this apart piece by piece. And to do that, I'm going to put my little triad here on a surface. And notice how it selects that surface. I don't want that one, so I'm going to hold down Shift and click on it to deselect. Then I'm going to click on both of my wheels, grab my little gold arrow, and pull it out. And I have to hit this Apply button. It's the plus sign. I'm going to go back and click the two hubcaps, drag those out, hit Apply, grab my two axle pegs drag those out, hit apply. Okay, I want to do the same kind of thing here on the other side. So this time, that's all finished. I should be able to hit cancel. I'm going to go back to tweak components. Same thing, when I select a flat side, so they're all going this direction. Hold down shift and unselect that part. Grab my two tires, drag those out. Apply, grab my wheels, drag those out, apply my axle pegs, drag, apply. Let's cancel that operation. Come back over here. I'm going to click on this flat spot in here, and we're going to unselect that part. We'll start with just the windshield. Drag that up a little bit, apply, and that base component, and drag that up and hit apply. Okay, cancel out of that, tweak components again. I need a flat spot, and that's kind of round. That's not going to help me. So I'm going to click over here, hold down shift, unselect that. Okay, I want to use this to drag it out, but I want the other stuff to come with it. Okay, so I'm going to highlight those and those and have them all follow me this way. Oop. Well, I thought I was. Well, here's something you can do. If you meant to select this piece and you didn't, you can always go back and click it, and it'll pop to the same space as the other ones. Okay. Let's have that go a little bit closer. I want to be able to see the, where the green thing is. Hit apply. I want this guy to come with us. This one also needs to come along. And then we'll pull this one out too. I don't need to worry about that middle piece. So I'm just going to focus on this one here. Tweak components. Let's click on this. And uh, this time this is the piece that I want. I don't have to unselect it. I want to add these guys onto it though. Make sure all of these are marked in blue. Remove those just a little bit so I can see where that green thing is. There's the little green connector piece. And that one didn't go the way I wanted it to, so I'm going to hit Escape. We're going to start over from there. Let's go back to Tweak Components. Uh, we want this one and the rest of them. So I clicked and dragged. And depending on how you click and drag, it does different things. We can talk about that later.
All right. There we go. That's the entire car. It's all pulled apart. I can see all the pieces, and I would know how to put this back together. So I'm going to hit Save. And for me, I'm going to save this in my T9 folder, which is inside my Google Drive. Uh, make sure you say yes to all, because we made changes to all of these parts. And then say OK.